G'day everybody, and how we going? It's me, Matthew Wrigley here, and today, I'm going to be talking on another subject for you guys to discuss and to think about. Um, what I want to talk about is for you guys, this includes me, when you have butter extra fee, what I want to try and say is, please guys, find a good general practitioner. A doctor that's going to be very understanding, who has very good communication skills. Yes, I know this is going to be hard to find someone that has got good skills, but once you find someone that has good communication skills, someone that understands where you are in life, what the condition contains, when you find someone that is right for you, you'll find that click. And they will look after you as the best they can do. If a GP is not willing to help, please try and find someone else that's different. Someone that's going to be helpful for you in your condition and looking after yourself. You need a GP that's going to be on top of infections and they need to be the first line of defense for help us preventing infections. They also need to be able to communicate with the urologist really well, have that communication. They both need to have a good game plan on what needs to happen between you, the patient, and them, the medical personnel. Life will be difficult and you need doctors in your care that will have a very good understanding on how to look after things. Your GP needs to take in consideration that you'll have probably have mental health issues on top of your bladder extra fee and they need to monitor both things. You know, we've got to try and make sure that our health our physical health, our mental health is all looked after in the same basket. If one slips out of line, things will hit the ground badly and we do not want that. It has taken me a good couple of years to find a really good GP who can help me. And let's just hope you guys can find someone that will help you. We need the help we can. And we need to tell people that we need to find GPs that are going to be caring, understanding, who has a good understanding of mental health, a good understanding on your physical urinary health. We need to find a GP that will have, like I said before, very good communication skills with the urology and we need also urology needs to have a good communication with GPs um, sometimes this gets slipped and missed because of all the people that need care and people that forget to mention things we need to try and get this out of out of things and we need to try and get on top of things blood or extra thing needs to be put out there as much as we can and the doctors that don't understand where we're coming from they need to do some research it's not that hard for them to go onto the internet and with a bit of our knowledge that we can pass on to them, they can do the rest of the research. You know, we we know our condition really well. And uh, for you guys, please learn bladder extra fee as much as you can so that 
when it comes to finding a GP, you can explain everything. Dot all your dots and dots and dots. You know, we need to try and look after our health. And it's hard, I know. I'm being in that boat. It's been a struggle for me. And, you know, you try and rely on your friends, but I just don't want to offload all my troubles to them off my plate. Because other people have got their issues. And it's hard. Um, I don't, I don't be, I'm not as active on the groups anymore because of, I find that people don't care about me anymore. So I just want to be in my own little world, but you know, I still want to try and help. And this is me trying to help, putting my face onto a video and helping people as much as I can. We need to have a good me medical system that will help us and help others with what we've got. I know other people out there with bladder atrophy don't have issues, which is brilliant, good for you guys. But for those that struggle to try and communicate with mental, with the mental side of things, to a doctor, it's hard, and I feel you for it, and I know it's hard. I've been in that boat, you know? But please, try and reach out for help. We're all here for you. And if you're having trouble speaking to a doctor or something, please just let people know and we can help. We are here to guide everybody as much as we can. You know, I wish we could have better communication skills there are people there that do, and good for you guys, congratulations, I'm proud. But for those like me and our other handful of people that struggle, it's hard. And I just wish we could make things a lot easier for each people, but I don't think that could happen, you know. We're stuck in a loop of needing help and don't know who to turn to. So GPs need to try and step up a little bit. Yes, their workload's very intense because of what's happened in the last couple of years with the pandemic. But we, as people with blood or extra feet, also need to go out and let the GPs know how we feel. You know, um, it's not... It's a very hard subject to bring up, I know, but it needs to be done and we as a community need to try and get a lot more information ready for things. With the organisations that we have under our umbrella, they try their best every day to try and bring the support of this condition out into the world and that's brilliant work. It's a hard job, but it needs to be done. This condition needs to be spread to the world as much as we can. And trying to get medical field to recognise things is hard. And we have tried, we've done what we can, but there's more to be done. And the work that needs to be done is very hard job and what needs to be done is very hard and I applaud to those people that run the organizations I applaud the people who look after all the Facebook groups the support groups of butter extra fee we need these people to stay strong and keep these groups going because if these groups disappear the mental health of some of the people will diminish badly. GPs will find it more difficult to try and treat people with blood or atrophy with the mental health issues because those people don't want to open up to the GPs and the GPs need to know what's going on, but it's hard. 
and I find it hard to do that myself. Um, but if we just, as a group, continue to follow what is at the end of the light, at the end of the tunnel, it's there. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And if we follow that light, we will be at an easier part of the world. So, if GPs can listen and make sure that they understand that we, as a community, as a group, as individuals with blood or extra fee, need help. And another thing, each person with blood or extra fee is completely different to the one next door. So, our care is going to be unique and different from the person next to you. But... If you still need help, reach out. There are plenty, plenty of people around that are willing to help. If you need communication with people, just let people know. You know, we are not here to yell. We're not here to scream at you. We're here with a calm, gentle voice. And we're here to help each other with everything that's going on in this world we try and cover up but we need to stop covering up things honestly we need to try and be more open in the world and um with butter extra fee there needs to be a more of a voice i know there's already a voice for those people that don't have the voice but the voice needs to be reached out a lot more it's not an easy thing to do and I really do understand that I realize that with the number of people that have tried their best to bring the word out is brilliant we need more voices to come out there are going to be people that don't want to and I understand that but there are people that who want to help who have blood or extra fee Let's just stand together and try and put our word out that we are people too. Please don't bully us, tease us, or make fun of us. That is not a way to communicate to us. We are people too. We're human beings. We've been through a lot. We've been through hell and back. So just please let people reach, take this and reach it out to the world for the medical industry out there. Let us speak and listen to us as we need help as well. We as a community have all different people that have all different needs and the needs need to be met. I understand that it's going to be a struggle to meet needs and doctors struggle and I understand that. It's not an easy task when someone has got a, a birth defect makes it a little bit more interesting for the GPs to look after people with rare birth defects. You know you know, you've got your normal birth defects that are hard to look after, but when someone has a rare defect, makes it more interesting because they're never going to try and think outside the box. I know a lot of GPs do think outside the box, which is brilliant, and it means that the urology team can let be more... Um, be more happy with the case because the GP is looking after you the GP will be on top of things which will make it easier for the urology to look after you because if you've got a really good um, GP you have a really good urologist that work together it's going to make life more easier it's life is still hard you still got to maintain your health and I understand that but we just need that good communication so that 
doctors can keep an eye on us a lot more on a better basis so that we can live a better life you know and there are going to be people there in the community that don't need help and they are strong on their feet and that is great to hear that is brilliant and I'm happy And but there are people like me and others that just don't have that upper leg and wish we did so I'm just going to call out and say thank you to everybody that looks after each other and all aspects of this condition let us spread the word as much as we can that people will understand where we come from what is happening in the world with this condition and let's just keep going on looking forward to a better future better life and let's just let's just stay together all right guys i'll see you soon see you later bye bye